Hello everybody, this is Mino4657, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we got Estelle back into our party, and even though it said that Art will use up her life force, don't worry about that, that's just the plot point to let you actually able to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, as you use her art, uh, like, you, you're probably thinking, oh, if you, if you use her magic, it'll take up HP instead of TP. No, it doesn't work like that. So you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, we now have uh, Baul back so we can start flying again. And there is a lot of extra stuff that we can do now, so I am going to go and stock up um, some stuff in Halur, and then we'll be on our way. I don't know why, but I just really like stopping at this town. It's just so peaceful looking. It's like that place you just want to go to. Let's see here, we need some more apple gels, because we're really running low on that kind of stuff. I'm not really worried about money here, although I probably should be. Let's see, I'm good on life bottles, we need four more of those. Uh, mats, tents, need some more magic lenses. Uh, we seem to be good on mo for the most part. Not much. Okay, so let's see what's new at the sentence shop. Um, that's right. There is some stuff I need to get done. Ah, oh, crap, there's so much stuff I can do, and I can't do it. You might notice that um, Estelle has some new equipment here, so we'll go in through and check this stuff out, and we are done, so let's go look at something else. Let's see, Flare Cape, I'll take Thief Cape, uh, Opal? Why does he have an Opal? He shouldn't have that. Um, where is it? Flare Cape, oh. Wind Cape, Earth Cape. Earth Cape? Who's good with Earth? Nobody really, but I want him to have the Wind Cape, but we need a regular Cape first. So let's get one of those. No! Okay, so. Let's uh, give Raven that Wind Cape. There, see? It gives him, it gives him wind resistance and increases his physical and magic defense. So that's why I want him to have that. Back together. I'm so glad to be with you all again. Same here. You must take care not to strain yourself. You know, one step at a time. I. Huh? What's up? I think Rapid just welcomed me back. No, Rapid's already off over there. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Why isn't Rapid happy that Estelle's back? What an asshole. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, there should be ice coffin. She already knows dispersion and great deluge. Okay, so that means we can use stinger combo plus, change plus, ethanol crucible. We can get those for her. Okay, I need to. <sighs> Crap! I forgot my list. Hold on a second, everybody. I'm so sorry about this. Where is it? Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so Crucible and Ethanor. Let's see here. According to my list, Crucible is for turns nurse into nightingale yeah i'm sorry i had this all written down so i could just remember like where which altered art went, went where because there's no way i'm going to memorize all this crap ethanor 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 okay that's part of wow that's going to be hard to get okay sorry about that let's see so ice coffin dispersion and great deluge Barrier and resist. Return into variable hex resist field. Great deluge turns holy lance and holy rain. Okay. So. Oh crap. You know what? I'm just going to control her for a bit. Just so I can show you all this. So. We got. Um, let's get rid of. Cover. Barrier. We, she already knows variable hex permanently, right? Yep, she does. So that's have instead of barrier, that's have resist. So we can have resist field. She has three uses on that. Recover sharpness. Let's get rid of. Um, okay, we already got resist here. 
So that's change resist for um, which which one was it? Should be nurse. Okay, that's right, nurse. And instead of photon, we'll have. Does she not know it? She doesn't know it. When when when, when does she learn it? Ah, crap. Okay, she doesn't know Holy Lance yet, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. She's only level 49, so we might want to go grinding a little bit. Okay, so... Um, is there anything else that we can do here? We can probably get some altered arts for... Wait a second, what did Raven have here? I'm sorry about all this stuff, but... Vagabond... Vagabond plus one... Wait, does he know any? Flex... Dispersion and Great Deluge. Repeat actually knows something? Let's find out what it does! Oh my god, I'm so sorry about this, everybody. Jesus, I'm so clumsy. When it comes to Altered Arts, I'm just an... I'm just an idiot. I'm just not good with Altered Arts right now. Okay. Let's see. Dispersion does nothing for Repeat. He needs Great Delusion and Gale to turn Phantom Dog into Phantom Blazer. Oh wait, we got another skit. It looks like Baol is back to his old self. There's plenty of air for him to absorb. He seems to have used it to heal his wounds. For all the trouble Alexei's caused, he's helping us out in some unexpected ways. That's not gonna get him off the hook, though. He can go wherever he likes. With Baul to help us, there's no place we can't follow. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to the Blade Drift Zophir again. Even though there's some extra stuff we need and we can do. Actually, no, wait. Instead of going. Actually, I think I'll. No, wait, I wanna show this real fast. Just because it's really funny. And I mean really, really, really funny. <laughs> I don't think he can land on the ice. No, he can't. That's okay, though, since the, since the blade drifts are only just a short walk away. These monsters will be extremely weak, though. They're only, like, level 43. God damn it. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Brand okay, well this gives me a chance for you to sh for me to show uh, resist field and um what should we call it? Wait a second. Should have changed. That. Okay, well let's try nurse. Which one was nurse on? I'm sorry, I'm being so clumsy with this, but Jesus. Wait a second. Oh wait, that was dispersion. Ah, and I took that off. Damn it. Okay, so nurse. Let's see what this does, because I have no idea. I've never seen this spell before. Did you see anything? <laughs> because I didn't. <laughs> Let me see if I can just target myself. Are you Damn it! Done already? I wasn't done! <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm so sorry. I forgot about the blade drifts and the, my capture card. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's try this one more time because I have yet to even see this spell myself. Okay, no lag. No lag. No lag. It seems to... It seems to put... You see like this weird ghost or something. Get away from me. Hey! God, I wasn't done. <laughs> That's wonderful! God, Estelle, Jesus. Rita, that magic you used was amazing! What do you mean? That wasn't really anything special. Are you kidding? It was special! That was really, really cool! Enough already! It seriously was not anything special. Compared to you. Oh. 
I was thinking how lucky I am to have a friend who's so gifted with magic. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god, I've got nothing done in this episode so far. I'm so sorry. Jesus. Okay, so if you um if you cook a sorbet in this place, you get a really funny skit. Just, just give it a moment. Any day, any time now. Um, okay. Huh, I wonder why it's not working. Oh well, I guess I could show this art some more. Don't get careless. God, I, I, seriously, I've got nothing done in this episode. I want, I want to see this thing though. There. It's like a after image of Estelle, and she comes up and just heals everybody. I have no idea what that. That's horrible. Whatever. Who, who cares? Let's just cast it some more. Because the more uses I get, the more I can the faster I'll be able to learn it. Sign of freaking victory. Okay, let's go all out. I didn't know you could fight like that. Yeah, neither did I actually. That was my first time. Really? You sure put on a good show. <laughs> I thought it might be better to go all out, you know. Baul agrees. <laughs> I'm sure he does. We're counting on you, Judith. And I'm counting on you. Okay, that was actually the. The skit that um, you get when Judith uses her Mystic Art, and that other one with Estelle and Rita—that was one when you get when Rita uses her Mystic Art. It's just that Bowel and and Estelle weren't in the party at the time, hey, so we couldn't see it. Don't and now we got this crap. You know what? Screw it. I'm running. Just get the frick out of there, man! I don't need that crap. Yeah, that's how running this in this game works, and I know I never really shown that yet, but it's just that I never really had the need to run from anything. Because in the time it takes for you to run, you could already like kill you could already kill all the enemies. Oh my god, I still haven't got anything in this episode done! Jesus! Okay, we need to go to the western continent. Straight this way. There's the sh No, don't get close to that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go there yet. <laughs> Obviously, that was the Enduring Shrine of Zaude, and I don't want to go there. Not yet, anyway. There's still some more stuff I would like to get done. Oh, crap! I forgot to check the synthesis shop, shop for something. I'm such an idiot. Ugh, god damn it. Where, where, where is it? It, it? It's around here somewhere. God, the fog is so thick here. I can't see crap. Okay, I think it's this way. Um... Where the, where the hell? Go mess with Zaude? When someone as strong as Pharaoh tells you not to go messing with Zaude, it makes you wonder. I wish he'd use regular words when he talked, though. Definitely. If it's really all that dangerous, you'd think he'd want to make himself clear. Maybe it was something Pharaoh had difficulty expressing in his own way. He did take the time to warn us. That shows at least some concern for our well-being, right? You mean that maybe he's warmed up to us a bit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pharaoh liking somebody, that's funny. Okay, it should be around here somewhere, but the damn fog is in the way and I can't see crap. Okay, it's this way. Should be right in here. Here it is. I found it! Don't worry guys, I found it. So, yeah. This is, this is one of the two weirdest places in the entire game. But you may have noticed that this place just looks like a regular Japanese bathhouse. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's what it is! <laughs> Hello, fine uh, fine visitors, and welcome to the Yumanju Hot Spring Spa. Hey, what is this place? Sir, you have arrived at y Yumanju Hot Spring Spa. Home of the finest open-air baths in Turkalumas has to offer. The Umanja Springs are famous the world over. What's an open air bath? It's a hot spring where you can go outside and take a bath and relax. Take a bath outside? I've never heard of anything like that. <laughs> I 
I think you'll find that it feels quite nice and liberating too. I just get the bath. I just get in the bathtub and hop out as soon as I'm clean. Who cares how nice it is? Yuri, it's best. For, uh, it's best for your body if you soak for a while and relax. Open air bath. Huh? Sounds quite like this. Uh, sounds like a sight. To see, I wonder what it feels like sitting in. Oh wow, that sounds great. I want to go in. I think it sounds like quite a sight. Uh, to see too, if you know what I mean. Oh god. Well, you know that was coming. <laughs> Can we go in? Unfortunately, you can You cannot. You cannot. What? Why can't we go in, you big meanie? I assure you, I'm not a meanie. The bats are simply being cleaned right now. Seriously? What a tease. Let's come back the next time and hope we get a chance. I'm terribly sorry. We look forward to your next visit. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be coming back here later because this actually gives you some really funny extra scenes and also some alternate costumes for your characters. Then don't worry, that's not really spoiling. Okay, so the next place we need to go to is either Dongrest or Heliord, because I want to go and check the synthesis shop for something. Remember that really important item for Rita that I really wanted? I think now it actually appears in the synthesis shop. So we should go and find the closest town, which I think is Dongrest. Did it seriously just say the Den of Guild? Oh, who cares. There's also some extra stuff we can do here, but... Oh god, I really don't want to right now, because it takes forever. So I'll be doing that later, or maybe like fast-forwarding it off-screen or something. Not like off-screen, but like... Sh Never mind. Okay, so... It's still not here! What the hell? How, how, why isn't it here? Weather and climate have a greater effect on spells. Uh, I, I just, I, I don't get it. What's a yours, oh crystal? Well, I, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like coming here was completely pointless. <laughs> why, why isn't it in the synthesis shop yet? Just a second, I forgot to put that skill on Estelle. Um, dispersion. That should change resist to resist field, so we can start learning that again. Okay, so the next place I want to show you guys... Hold on a second, I have a weird strange alert on my computer here. Okay, so what was that guy looking at me for? Ah, uh, who cares. Okay, so once the Enduring Shrine of Saturday comes up, look at that sunset. And the sunset is now gone. Okay, so what was I about to say? When the Enduring Shrine of Saturday comes up, this extra area comes up here. If you look on the map, you can see this strange 8 in the ocean. I have no idea what significance that has, but you should be able to get to this area now. I think so. Or is that after you clear it? Oh, it must be after you clear it. God, frick this. Frick this. Frick this entire world. There's nothing to do. <laughs> oh my god. I, I seriously, this entire episode has been just been filled with nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. You know what? Screw it. We're going to the Enduring Shrine of Zaude because there's nothing else we can do. Maybe it happens after you clear it. Like, all this stuff happens after you... After you. Where, where, where the hell is it? Why can't I find it? Oh. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so that's Zaude. It's huge. It's sort of shaped like a ring. Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Whoa, look! Over there! Pharaoh. Uh oh. Even Pharaoh himself is taking action. Whoa.
was one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. What processing speed? Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work. But at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh, thank you. I'd like to know one thing before we begin this battle. Just how strong is this Commandant? I heard he earned his knighthood when he won a royal tournament during the previous Emperor's reign. I got to cross swords with him once, and I didn't last more than three minutes. So then he's really, really strong. And don't forget, he's surrounded by his royal guard. None of this sounds very promising. Hey, we've got De Nomos, don't we? <laughs> Besides, we've been through all kinds of stuff together on this journey. Yeah, we're tighter than any kind of guard, royal or not. All right, so say we handle the royal guard. It's still a coin toss in the end. I guess we'll never be too prepared when it comes to facing Alexei. Right. We'll have to give it everything we've got. Ooh, stuff's getting real now, and I still have done nothing in this entire episode. I'm so sorry about this waste of a part, everybody. But it looks like after this cutscene, I might have to stop it here. There's, there's a save point. But I might have to go grinding in here off screen because this place is actually pretty hard. Man, up close, this thing is bigger than I thought. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It must possess unimaginable power. Whoa, look! That's a night battleship, right? Could it be Flynn? Nah, I bet it's the Royal Guard. Which means... The place is crawling with them. They've got the main entrance covered. There aren't that many. We could blow them away before they knew what hit them. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. Let's see if there isn't some other way in. Yeah, that would be the smart thing to do. Okay, sorry about this everybody, but here's the save point right here. The entrance is right over there in that vent. Wow, why did I just say that? <laughs> okay, anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, we're gonna go venturing in the in in the, in the Enduring Stride of Mzaude. And don't worry, we'll get all that extra stuff out of the way. I don't know if it I don't know if it has to be done before or after you do this, but whatever. Oh god, we got another skit. So Pharaoh's been absorbing air too. Is he trying to restabilize it? We owe him one for keeping the fight up this long. No, I don't think that's it. My guess is he's taking in all that air to disable Saudi's power source. That way he'll be able to mess with Alexei's plants, right? Right. Right, Judith? Who? Me? What was the question? Never mind. It'll be easy if we can just get inside. We'll stop everything in one shot. Wish it were that easy, kid. But we'll be up to our ears in traps and royal guards. Gotta admire his confidence. Do you really mean that? Pharaoh, please be okay. I'm sure he's fine. He's Pharaoh anyway. For some reason, when Rita said that line, I just thought she sounded so funny because she's like, Right, Judith? <laughs> That's like the only time when Rita actually sounds worried about something. I mean, not really, but it's just that the way he sh she says it just makes it seem like she hardly ever makes that voice. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, saving my game right now, and I'm going to shut up so you guys can go on with your lives. Yeah. Shutting up now. See you next time. We've seen plenty of Blastia so far. This one's in a different class altogether. If this was made at the end of the Garayo civilization, it may contain clues to all their technology. Chances are pretty good if the building we saw on that relief in Murzo is actually Zaude. So is there a connection between the Cataclysm and the Autophagos? If it does come from the end of the Garayo civilization, maybe it can turn back the Autophagos. I wonder if that's why they carved the relief. It all adds up, but I keep going back to Pharaoh's words. About disturbing Zaude? Thinking about it isn't likely to get us anywhere. We just have to go on. 